The PDC Pro is one of our most popular controllers and in this video I'll show you exactly why. I'll give you an overview of the hardware and I will show you a few use cases that will inspire you on how you can work with the PDC Pro. Let's get started. The PDC Pro has dedicated buttons for all settings and presets and a nice joystick with a large handrest. And next to the joystick there is a dedicated focus knob under the large menu display, there are dedicated encoders, four of them, that let you fine-tune parameters that you are working with. At the bottom, you have eight large backlit keys and the displays above them will tell you what the buttons do. And this gives you many options for assigning multiple layers of functionality to these buttons. The PTC Pro offers you complete freedom over what the buttons do and which devices they control. It comes with several configurations for the most used PTC cameras on the market. With the PTC Pro, you can control one or more of 30 different PTC camera brands that we currently support. And we add support of more models all the time. And yes, you can control multiple brands from one controller. Let's take a look at that now. Use case number one. Two cameras from different brands, BirdDog P200, PTC Optics camera, controlled by the same Skyhoy controller. So camera number one is my BirdDog camera, and I can operate the camera with a joystick, zoom, pan and tilt and all that good stuff. Change over to camera number two on the PTC Optics camera, I can do the same over here. So you see two brands, single controller solution. We can also recall presets, so I'm currently selected on the PTC Optics camera and I can recall preset number one. I could also go to preset number four by pressing that button and if I want to store a preset, like if I made an adjustment here, I could store that on preset number three by pressing and holding and now I can go between number four and number three. Guess what? You can do the same on the BirdDog camera. So you just select that on the controller here and I'm now able to go to preset number one and recall some other preset and store it in the same way as you saw before. These buttons are assigned to select cameras and we decided to color code them slightly differently. So the mint green color is the BirdDog cameras and camera two, three and four if we had it. And the uh, rose colored buttons would be for the PTC Optics cameras. Let's look at the settings. In the menu up here, we can select exposure mode, white balance settings, and our color and image settings. But let's look at exposure mode. So for the bird dog camera, I can select manual, shutter speed, priority, iris priority, and all the way back to auto mode here. Going to the PTC Optics camera, I have the same, selecting exposure mode. And notice that these values that we list for shutter speed, iris and so forth are specific for each camera. That's how Skyhoy does it. White balance, same thing. We have the ability to go between modes. We have a variable mode for the PTC Optics camera, which I doubt will be found for the bird dog camera. So once again, it is reflected what specific options these cameras they have. It may surprise you that you can add control for other equipment like an AJA router, ATEM mixer, vMix, OBS and many more. You can also take control of a computer by sending keystrokes and commands to move the mouse. And finally, we have a few features that actually enhance what you can do with the camera. Use case number two. We have three NDI cameras from Utex set up with the PTC Pro and since we have only three cameras we decided to use the remaining five buttons on the camera selector row for something else. So let's just look at the basics here. I can move the cameras around just like I would expect to. With the camera selector I select the camera and I operate the cameras. But the more interesting thing is what we can do on the next button. Here we can turn on and off streaming on the ATEM switcher. You can see it's now on air. We can also start recording on the USB drive over here. So there's integration with the second device. And now comes the third device because this is also communicating with the computer managing the slideshow behind me that is mapped to the next and previous buttons on this button row. So I can press this one to go to the next slide and you see now the Keybridge logo and then back to the previous one. So let's go to the next one. What is Keybridge? Keybridge is the software application Skyhoy has developed that will run on a computer, connect to a Skyhoy panel and let you execute keystrokes and move your mouse cursor around 
in the universe of a laptop or computer system. So in this case, it will talk to a presentation application like PowerPoint or Keynote in this case. It could also manage many other softwares and with the smart and fancy mouse movement functionality, you can actually like execute button presses on specific buttons in applications of your choice. So that's Keybridge, ladies and gentlemen. And finally, let's get back to the cameras over here because I want to show you how we can do smart configuration of settings. You see, if I wanted to set the white balance on these three cameras, I don't have to do it all in uh, separate steps. I can actually pull it together. So for one camera, it is um, this setting. For two other cameras, this is the setting. But if I press and hold, you'll see that I can select multiple cameras at a time. And now I can go to the white balance mode and I can set it to exactly what I want for all three cameras at the same time. Before we wrap up, let's take a look at cruise control. That's a Skahoy invented feature you find only on our controllers. And the smart thing about it is that it gives the same thing to your PTC camera as you have in your car when you go on the freeway and you want to lift your, your foot off the accelerator pedal to just still go at a steady speed. You can do the same here. And I'll show you why that is very useful because when you have three cameras and a single operator, you may want one camera to be in a slight movement while you cut to a different camera. And you need to prepare that first. So look at what is happening here. I can take the first camera selected and let's say that I make a very slow pan with this camera. I can now press the cruise control button on the controller. So let me just do this with the other hand. So I start the pan. I start cruise control, hands off, the camera is moving by itself. And the point is while it is doing so, I would select the different camera. I would recall a preset. I would get it into position and I would cut to it from my vision mixer. That is cruise control for you, enhancing the capabilities of a single operator. I hope this video gives you a nice idea about how versatile and powerful you can make your productions using a PDC Pro. If you want to know more about which devices we can control, then head over to our device call page on our website. And for that, you can check out the link in the description of this video. We have other PTC controllers as well. And if you're looking for something smaller, then check out the PTC Fly and the PTC Wiz. And if you want to go big, then check out the PTC Extreme. Have a nice day.